Lance, are you uh, able to share your screen? Uh, Lance, I don't know if he's here right now, but I can share it. Okay. Oh, Timothy, you had it up originally, didn't you? I think you were the first one in. So, is everything going okay in here? Excellent. Yes, Mr. Lushnowski. Uh, uh, um, okay, so, uh, yeah, I think everything's working. So Lance isn't in the room, but one of his co presenters is. Uh, which is, you know, I, I'm in the room now. Is I think it's working now. Hopefully, <laughs> anyone has questions, please feel free to ask.
Is everything in this room working okay? It's awfully quiet. Uh, I don't know. Can you guys hear me at all and see my screen? Yeah, I can hear you fine, and we can see your screen. So, all you visitors, yes, uh, give Tim this uh, question. Get a conversation going, please. All right, yeah, ask away. And Lance is also here if you want to ask him things. Yeah, I've been working around. So since Jay is also live here too, I've been logging in on other ones. So this is one I came into and then out of. Um, question for you guys, and then I'm going to check back on a couple other folks here too that I came into and out of. Uh, well, our more so are common. You guys need to reach out to folks that are on the coasts with this type of uh, material. Have you done saltwater tests? Uh, you said you've done water tests, but have you done saltwater tests with your system? And uh, if not, I suggest doing this because this would be really marketable for our folks like in South Carolina that have done some flights and uh, have done lots of ocean recoveries. So have you done saltwater tests or just um, uh, regular water? <laughs> uh, we have not done saltwater tests yet, at least. But okay. I would imagine it would hold up as well. I I'd imagine so, but uh, I'd be interested to see what you, you all find out because I think this would be really, really useful for those... Uh, Folks on the coast, um, like I say, I got a couple of folks on South Carolina that would really um, could really make use of this. So this is outstanding, and this is a fun fun project. So yeah, no, definitely. Uh, we actually originally made this for another uh, professor here who goes down to Florida and launches balloons into thunderstorms. That's what it was initially designed for. So I imagine they definitely would, uh, use it. So yeah, so sulfur test should definitely be. Uh, should be done. Should yeah. be done. Yeah, that'd be a good thing that we could do. Um, luckily, uh, there's. I'm not sure as to the the chemistry um, of of salt water, but this is there's there's not, but as it's um as it pertains to um, nylon, its interaction of nylon and polylactic acid, and um, I'm not sure what this material here is, but nylon can maybe so so. The good news is, is there's no outward facing metal, um, but uh, that, that should definitely be considered. Yeah. And then before I go uh, for another one here, if, if there's anything, is there something that if you had an opportunity to sort of uh, upgrade some things or expand upon the work that you've done, what would that be? Out there. Metal screw. Because uh, as you need to make sure in the low thinner um, potentially if the um, uh, PCB was rearranged, um, but then again, we're trying to keep it symmetrical, so it, it's really really tight in there right now. So uh, perhaps I missed this earlier, but what is your uh, system weight for this uh, payload? Uh, uh, 
Oh uh, yeah, just this this cut down system about about how much would something like that weigh? It's it's really not heavy. Like the board itself is mostly the weight of a double A battery, and the box is you know one hundred grand. I don't know an exact weight, but Lance did just run off to weigh it. Ah, two hundred eighty grams. There you go. Thanks, Lance. And then uh, along those lines, um, do you have uh, plans for, I guess, redundancy? Um, do you run them in parallel, or is there redundancy built onto the board itself? Uh, there is not. Uh, there is not redundancy um, with this particular system. So it's just it's just the single the single nichrome uh, cut down um, and, and uh, uh, when we fly it uh, we uh, they fly it shell we don't have a second the first with the latex glue. I guess one last uh, question: Is it uh, in any way difficult to to set up and get the the line through uh, those those little nichrome wires? Um, I've used similar systems in the past, and sometimes it's a little bit tricky. So I was wondering if you had any like special techniques, or if it just kind of kind of went through. Um, uh, okay. Yeah. Right. Well, Timmy, you okay. go first. Talk talk about the you know. Uh, I I never really struggled to get the line through. It definitely could be a little tricky. Uh, often I would have a pair of tweezers on standby if I needed. That made it quite easy. But it it really wasn't hard. You just need to put the uh, line through that silicon ring or, or disc that's inside those nylon fittings at the end. And I just used a giant needle for that essentially, or it's a sewing awl, I suppose. Uh, and it's yeah, it's really not that hard. It goes through pretty easily. Well, uh, with this particular um, nichrome setup, you can see the, uh, in the lower left hand picture, you can see there is a six. Um, you can see there are, are these uh, six uh, screws here on on the PCB. So the first two are just uh, the the ones on the outside on the on the ends, they are um, just retainers. So the, the line goes under those. And then between the two middle terminals on the left hand side, um, that's where the nichrome goes. And the, the, the line goes over the nichrome. So that when it's, when it's tensioned, it, it, the line is pushed into the top of the nichrome. We don't have to go under the nichrome with it. So it's just sitting on top of so we don't we don't have to worry about it like you know trying to get it under the nichrome. Um, some of our other cut downs uh, uses a very small terminal block. I think that's the correct uh, term, uh, and, and a and a piece of nichrome that goes between between the two uh, terminals on that. And those are very difficult to get threaded sometimes. Um, but one thing with those is make sure your line is. Like, I don't know, burn it off or make sure it's really pointy. I often use the nichrome to cut the line and then and then put it through it. But uh, that, that's just general comments on uh, threading uh, the nichrome line. 
What gauge nichrome is that? Uh, I believe it's 34 gauge nichrome. And are you um, just running 1.5 volts through that, or do you have um, a boost converter or anything else there to, to, to jump it up? Uh, yeah, that's just, that's just the 1.5 volts. So zoom out more. Oh, only, only Burke's here now. Oh, no. He's even paying attention. Trying to figure out when it happens. I got to hear one question. Oh, well, something. Well, we answered a handful. And then everyone else has gone off with these other remarks. Off to uh, these other posters. All right. There we go. Well, the, the salinity question definitely. Uh, what, salt water? Yeah. And salt water shouldn't react with ABS or nylon. I okay. see zero reason why it struggles salt water versus regular yeah, water. Okay. Yeah. Well, we didn't test it with the salt water, so I guess. Yeah. And so he knows people in South Carolina or whatever. So yeah, I think it would definitely be in our best interest to develop a GitHub that had just like all the instructions, all the CAD files, all the Ultimaker files, bill materials. And just like, yeah, we could probably email that to whoever posted this and they can email it out. And, yeah, well, that was what I was trying to get you to yeah. ask. Yeah. Well, you said I think we're going to make a GitHub, right? Yeah. Do that. Where even is Isaac? <laughs> yeah, probably. So are these on the time thing? Do you yeah, sync these will automatically close after some Oh, yeah, they were going for 9.45 to 10.30. It's definitely oh. 10.30. We're probably supposed to go back. Yeah. 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 I don't know. That's good on there. So yeah, there's the poster session. And there's whatever this is. Oh, uh, no, I, I think the idea was supposed to be an hour. You just bounce around to them. That's what that was my understanding. Yeah, that's what I